Hey there guys, welcome to episode 24, 24.3500 of Sea Skylines Weekly Playthrough. It's our sea. At the end of the last episode, I didn't record it, uh, but I went through the bus routes again and just made them a lot smaller. So for instance, this green line that we've been looking at, there's only a few stops, it just goes around this area and back down to the bus station, that's it. So I've done that quite a lot and then some of the, I've added some lines from this bus station over here as well to take some of the load off the other one. So we're going to see how that plays out through the uh, through the course of this episode and let's get cracking with our build. Yeah, so I think we can agree from the last episode that this roundabout doesn't appear to be working. So I'm going to work on a solution for that now, see what I can do with it. Okay, so the solution's a little drastic here guys, but we're changing the roundabout, joining them both up together. We're going to make an, an oblong about. Well, I think that'll work. Big, much bigger system. Right, there we are guys. There's the new oblong about. I'm gonna, uh, gonna unpause it and see how that goes. I'm gonna get rid of the arrows on the screen, just make it all clear as well. So let's just see how, see how that goes when we unpause that. <laughs> get all these cars back on the track. And it'll be faster because it's a highway. It will, the whole thing will just keep moving a lot quicker. What is that? A traffic jam? No, he's just, change, they're just changing lanes. Hopefully that'll sort itself out going forward, so let's just watch this for a sec. I mean, there was a, if you remember, there was a big long traffic jam down this road, and that cleared because of putting that small roundabout here, so I think this will just keep all the traffic moving a lot better. Yeah, that seems to be working nice. So let's put the arrows back on. So I added like a new on the roundabout bit uh, on the highway here, a new on the back on the highway bit remember their only way on was was over here so they can now get back on the highway here and off here and on here and off here so they've got good access routes uh, we'll have to see make sure they've got no traffic lights coming on no there's no traffic lights here i'll we'll just see how this all plans out and this road here i didn't know what to do with it it might be better as a slip road coming on and off because people coming in and out of there will go slowly and that might slow everything else down so i'll have to just watch that for a sec so everyone else is just chipping around there real quick. We'll see how that works out. So I've just changed up this end of the oblong about. Just so it's, uh, these are just a little more separated the way it is. Just because they seem to interlock or intermingle with the, the traffic on the roundabout a lot better. For some reason it just seems to work better like that. We've still got this massive, massive traffic jam of buses where I've changed them all up and made smaller, smaller queues. This is because you'll get, say, like two buses next to each other like this, and they just hold everyone else up. And when it happens, loads. So I've still got green buses coming up there where I've adjusted the line, I think. But nearly 300 grand, we're doing all right with cash. Let's just uh, see if this, hopefully, this should, this should clear itself once it's sorted. But we'll go through the bus lines now and just see if we can reduce them down a bit more. So we have some traffic lights on this area here. And that's then it's just caused this traffic jam to go all the way back here with these oil trucks. They're trying to come down here, underground, out the other side, and then come along here to this new cargo train station we built. This also, this cargo train station, I've seen something on a video recently. The way we should be doing it is more of a loop. So they can only come in one way, they only go out one way. Uh, and they're not waiting for each other like that. It keeps it more of on a, on a constant cycle. So I'm gonna change that up as well. Okay, right, I've got the game paused at the moment. So we've done our one-way system here for the, uh, for the cargo trains. I don't think they've started adhering to it yet. This one's gonna get messed up. Uh, so it's gonna go, yeah, it's gonna go this way, back to the main line, underground, come up, come in. Uh, here you can see with this cargo hub, it's just going to be a sheer weight of traffic of why it gets clogged up. I mean, they're going in there as pretty much as quick as they can. And hopefully with some of the adjustments I've made with traffic easing measures, that'll keep them going. But maybe then, I think maybe what I'll do is I'm, I need a massive long slip road for them to go to to keep them away from the, the, uh, the normal traffic. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that. Right, okay, so we've got this slip road going on. I've never done anything like this before, I promise. Look at it, it's just... Uh, so we'll let the cargo trucks go in that way. They'll have to come down here first, go in that way. Have a big queue. Egg on exit. I figured this is as good as a one-way road because they do only come, go out, go left, I'm pretty sure. 
but they can go up this one, they can go back onto here, or they can use the new slip road I put in here to get back onto the highway, which I think is, is probably the more likely one they're gonna use. I've also adjusted this main six lane road because the buses were using the same road as the oil tankers, and that's not great. So now hopefully they'll just, they can just bypass it or all the other traffic, just bypass this, this area. So when you, if you do build a cargo hub, make sure it's not on a main line. Make sure it's got its own little slip road going on, etc. Okay, so I just adjusted a few more bits like to do with the power and this road here so there wasn't a tiny junction. Uh, I don't think there's a, tra it looks like traffic lights here. Yeah, oh, there we go, yeah. Always check because there was a few traffic lights over here as well where I'd added these, these slip roads on. There was traffic light bits. So yeah, always check for the traffic lights because that's just gonna slow down everything. So these trucks are going in all right. They'll start queuing, we'll see how that goes. I should free up everything over here as well. So working on a traffic jam system, we're getting through things. I don't know what this is, an old metro line stop or an old bus stop. I can't get it. <laughs> all right, there we go. I had to do a little cheeky bit on that just to make it accept that there was a road network to it, which is just a little two lane road in one direction. There we go, just so you can see. So hopefully now that'll, uh, that'll clear the traffic. We'll check back on that another time. But yeah, you can already see us working actually and, and clearing the traffic. Let's put some power to that bus station. There we go, okay. Okay, so as it's showing in the bottom right hand corner of the screen down there, we need loads of industry. Uh, I'm just adding more more office buildings down to our office our office industrial area here then we started our, our office area here i thought this would be a good place to add more everywhere else seemed like it had enough we'll put a bit down here we'll put some shops down here as well some large commercial and it's the trucks that will need to make their way from the industrial areas and from the the, uh, the cargo train area etc they'll make their way to all these shops that you put in um, so they can resupply them with goods. So maybe in your city the way you want to build it is maybe perhaps you wouldn't want to have all these shops dotted around like I have individually. I've spread them out. So maybe that would cause more traffic, although my traffic flows quite well. So maybe you'd prefer to have them in one large area, like have uh, your green residential and then your loads of blue shops in the middle and then all the yellow industrial away from the rest and haven't been like just three big blocks like that. You will find you'll need a lot, lot more green residential than you will the blue and the yellow. So I'm still building up this area, this office area, and people are moving in already into the, into the shops, into the offices. So they did want this little area. I don't wanna to put too much down because they might start complaining there's not enough, uh, not enough residential. Remember this, um, this like circular bit we built here to help? That seems to have worked nicely as well. Traffic's flowing all right there. Uh, right, I've literally just come back to this area, this cargo area. I've not been away long since I've done the last part of the recording. And there's there's not really any trucks going up this lane. It looks like the problem's just been solved. All the traffic's gone. All the underground problem with all the trucks is gone. All the problems solved. I can't believe that. Maybe it's just in between, in between loads or something. I don't know, but uh, that's crazy. I suppose I'm getting the, the trucks in fast up this slip road. And I'm getting rid of them quickly as well, straight back onto the highway. That's important, is to get them straight back onto the highway. I think that's what the, a lot of the problem was here as well, getting them out. But then a lot of the problem was getting them in, and I needed this big, big, big queuing lane. I think the queuing lane, separate away from the main traffic, is the key. Quick check here on our canal front properties. They're starting to build up a little bit. See what level they are because each of these buildings you see they level up. So this is like it's only a level one building at the moment, it's got four more levels to go. Um, it's still only light residential, so it won't ever turn into like a massive tall type building. But as it's got four levels to go, it will look nicer and nicer over those levels. Maybe it'll have a swimming pool. It looks now like maybe a couple of houses together, and so it will become more of a detached house. And that's what happens as these houses and uh, these buildings level up themselves, they'll look nicer. So your city overall will just start looking better and better. So this is the level two office block. It's still got one more level to grow. It doesn't look too bad as it is. It looks a bit old, sort of old fashioned really, but hopefully that'll, that'll look all right. What's this next to it? This looks like a police station or something. What's that? Live and learn training, office building. So that looks pretty cool. And that's a level two building. So that's got one more level to go and that will look pretty cool as well. So yeah, that's uh, 
that's starting to grow now as well this bit down here quite nice and something else you should be doing guys is watching all the content from rivalry gaming no not that but yeah do that um, whenever you build like a train station a passenger train station like I did here I again built up a new path so that the people can the people have got a lot of access so if you look at it now I mean I've got a lot of pathway access uh, the underground cycle road access right from here all the way across all the way along so a lot of the area where you do, you do have these big gaps it will you can get it all joined up with the cycle lanes and the uh, the footpaths and people do use them see already they've started using them look at them all my little minuscule ant people I'm gonna squash them stand on them and squash them so is this uh, this bus thing sorting itself they seem to be moving more freer it's getting there there's a lot of people waiting but oh I don't know <laughs> We'll get there, I'm sure. Okay, so what I've done with the cargo area, the cargo train station, guys, you can't change the, the train track that's right outside it here. One track goes left lane, the other track goes on this side left lane, so one goes left, one goes right. Now, what I've done is, let's select this so you can see it. So I've got a two lane railway here and at the other end I've got a two lane track, railway track, and then it splits. One goes obviously up to this direction, keeping on the left hand side, and this one obviously comes in from the left hand direction. So I've got one way coming in, I've got another way coming in from this side. So you can see one train comes in on the left hand side here, one train goes on the left hand side here, because it splits. So as it comes back down here, joins on basically with this one here so the left lane here comes back round and both trains that are heading to the right hand side back over to the main line join up they join up here underground and they travel along underground here still going one way back onto a main dual line a two train to two track line that goes here and then you can either come up above ground and go back to the main line there or they can do it there so they can get back to the main line and when they come back down they're back here straight onto a, they'll join onto a two lane a two track two track railway line uh, it'll come they'll come down here and then that splits uh, they can either choose to go around this way and back into here or they could choose to come around this way and into here so depending on how busy it is in this left lane or this lane that will now run a lot more efficient and that's how you need it set up now as a further note just as I pause this to sort it all out there was a, a cargo train about to just turn in onto the line and I want to see what happens to him so Edge your bets, guys. What do you think is going to happen? Is it just going to disappear? Is it just going to go to here? Or is it, will it just join the new line underneath and just carry on and adjust itself? Let's, all right, I think it'll just disappear. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, it did just disappear. It's a shame it didn't carry on. That would have been wicked if it just carried on down that line. Okay, well, that's a lot of cargo. How much is he carrying? Let's have a look. Only a 33% load make sure it's not yeah it's just 33 percent cool where are you going which way is he going to go he's going to choose this way You can also click on the train, select to follow the train, unpause it, I'll be now following the train. So I can zoom right out, whereas we're on a bridge, I can zoom right in and just follow the train. You can obviously look back and it's 
See you later, guys. We're going out of town. And on that note, we'll end it on that episode. Is that another train we're passing? It is. Shame we're not going to be it. That would have been a wicked ending, wouldn't it? Boom! I'm playing the wrong game, I think. See you later, guys.